This exciting episode takes place in the desert region of New Mexico with Sportsman's News pro staffer and worldwide trophy adventure owner Jason Campbell on the camera as he films longtime friend and WTA hunting consultant Jason Giese on a free range Oryx hunt and quickly followed up with a trophy Ibex hunt in the Florida Mountains. With two world class tags in hand, this is sure to be a great show. WTA Media. We're in the New Mexico desert glassing through the chaparral for Oryx this morning with our hunter and WTA consultant Jason Giese. Stay with us. This should be a real exciting hunt that will be followed up with an Ibex hunt just a little farther south. Once again, stay with us. The sun's just coming up. It shouldn't be too long before we have one of these in the glass so we can show you. Most hunters that choose to hunt oryx in New Mexico hunt them on one of the missile ranges which provides a great hunting opportunity but no opportunity to film. Jason and the support team are hunting vast areas of public ground with extremely low densities of oryx with the hopes of getting the whole hunt on film. The top of a pickup truck or anything that can give you a few feet of elevation in the air is a prime location to glass from. Covering a lot of ground to find water is essential to success, and once water is found, our team also finds tracks, which means it's time to take off on foot and see if they can walk them up and get a shot. Day one turns up no shot opportunities, but with abundant tracks and sign in the area, the guys are back in the same area on day two. This time, they're greeted with strong winds from the north, which puts a chill in the March air, but it doesn't take our team long to find its first band of oryx. We've decided to take a break here in New Mexico on Jason Giese's Oryx hunt. The wind's blowing about 40. We just got in close to a small band of Oryx that, he, that Jason glassed up about oh, an hour ago. We made it in real close to them. We had a young one spot us and they stood up. The bull that we'd picked out to shoot ended up only having one horn. So Jason wisely backed off and we'll try to find a better bull. This small herd is it went down through the valley, picked up a couple of extra oryx with it, and I think one of them will do for us. Anyway, we're still in New Mexico on, on what's turned out to be a very windy, but educational oryx hunt. Once the band of oryx bedded down again, the team picked their way through the desert floor in hopes of getting within a couple hundred yards of the band so Jason could attempt a shot in the strong winds. At 175 yards and a 45 mile an hour crosswind, this is an extremely tough shot for anyone. But Jason is an excellent marksman with lots of practice under his belt. He just needs a good broadside shot to make it happen.
going down. Hi, I'm Jason Giese with Worldwide Trophy Adventures and I'm here in New Mexico. Um, just harvested this beautiful Oryx with Sean Choate and Jason Campbell. We've been hunting for the last couple of days. Conditions have been very difficult. As you can probably tell, the winds are very, very high. We're on public ground so that we could video. We're not out on the uh, White Sands Missile Base. And we've been tracking Oryx for the last couple of days. Uh, this cow was the product of tracking. We glassed her up after tracking her off of water for, I don't know, maybe a mile or so. And um, we blew the first stock. Got a little bit of footage, but got busted by a, a, an oryx in the band. There were nine total. And they settled down, and about an hour later, we were able to work in on them, stock in, and get a good shot. Uh, made a good, clean one-shot kill, which was great. And I'm very excited. I appreciate all the help from Sean Choate and Jason Campbell. Uh, and I also appreciate the opportunity. I got this tag via the Big Game Enhancement Package. My father purchased it and uh, allowed me to hunt the Ori. up ahead of us moving into the Floridias for our iPad being chauffeured by the driver also known as the hunter one of the best looking profiles in the hunting world the Oryx killing Jason Giese famous yes sir yes sir now we're looking for a Billy named Willie. <laughs> 48 inch anyway. 48, we had some local intel. Yes we did. There we got a call the other night from a Navajo gentleman. He said he's got a 48 incher down here. We're hoping to find him this morning and uh, take care of business. <laughs> so as I read on the website last night, the Floridias were picked as a new home of the ibex because of their geographic isolation that does show up as the range just seems to jut up out of the desert coming up the old dirt road we've made it into the floridias not exactly what we'd call remote <laughs> but <laughs> We are here, we've had the, the worm. Mr. Mark Van Warmer, also known as the worm. Mr. John Giese, you've been down here for a couple of days scouting it out, giving us some directions, and we seem to have found camp. 
been coyote camping for the last couple of days in the famous words of Jason Jigisi. We're no longer coyote camping, we're fifth wheeling it. Hi, this is Jason Campbell from Worldwide Trophy Adventures Media. We're excited to be in the Floridia Mountains this morning with hunter and consultant of Worldwide Trophy Adventures, Jason Giese. Jason's father, John Giese, and our good friend Mark Van Wormer have been in the Floridias for the last two or three days pre-scouting in anticipation of our arrival. We've got messages from them. The cell service isn't good out here. Communication has been limited, but our messages are that they found a couple of billies that we need to get around here to look at. Ibex are in some of the steepest and nastiest country a person can imagine. The Florida, Florida, Floridian, or whatever mountain range you want to call it, is just that type of country. And the only way to get to where the animals are is on foot. Jason's longtime family friend, Mark Van Wormer, and father, John Giese, are a welcome part of the team on this hunt. We've come up quite a ways. That notch you could just see that we just shown the camera at is right above the ibex. I don't know, we've climbed up maybe 1,500 feet. Not too bad, it's getting in the evening of our first day here. We're gonna get close and try to get some film on these animals and judge them. And if time allows, we're gonna try them for a shot tonight. If not, we'll back out and try them again in the morning. second morning in Jason Geese sees Ibex hunt. I've snuck off in the wash. The crew's up here on the knob behind me in the glass. Glass in the billies that we put to bed last night. That one exceptional billy that stood out for Jason and the rest of the crew was in him, but he was out ahead of him a little bit in his bed behind a spire of rock that we just don't think we can get to this morning. We're going to try to make a plan for this afternoon. Hopefully those billies will feed up the same place they were at. We can get the job done in the evening night. 